Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the new Direwolf 20 pack for 116 directly in MultiMC. Okay, so if you've just downloaded MultiMC, and by the way, I have an installation uh, tutorial on my channel for both Windows and Mac, I'll leave links in the description for that and an extensive playlist of tutorials. I'll leave links for those as well. But you're going to need to make a change to your settings, all right, to be able to install it directly. So go to the settings button here in the top toolbar and click it. Now you'll see there is a field here that says update channel. This is what we need uh, in and we need to change that to the development channel. All right. The development channel has some new features available that we'll put to use. So select development from that list, hit close and then hit update. All right. Right here. So uh, it'll tell you a change log and stuff like that. And then once you hit update now, it'll close, uh, download, close MultiMC and relaunch. And now you'll be in the development channel. Now, obviously, if you're already in the development channel, you wouldn't need to do this step. But it'll change it to 0.6.12-develop. All right, and that's what you want to see. So now you will have some new features available. So go to the Add Instance button in the top left corner here and you'll see that FTB is now on the list as well as Technic and Twitch. Uh, in the public release, it's only FTB Legacy. So hit the FTB button right there and now we can search for Direwolf in the list here and filter for that. And then here's the Direwolf 2116 pack. So select that. You can go through and select different versions of it if you need to for some reason. But there it is right there. So hit OK. When you do hit when you hit that, it'll download all the mods and uh, install them as well as forge and all the needed stuff and create a multi MC profile for you. All right. So depending on your Internet speed, this may take more or less time. Uh, it looks like it's going to go pretty fast here. So let's just give it a moment. All right. Here we go. All right. So it is now downloading and is installed. All right. So when you uh, have it down on your disk here, you could choose edit instance and you can see that install forge under the loader mods tab is where all the mods are so you can uh, expand that to see and filter for different mods like botania or what have you all right and you can also and it's advisable to go through settings and select your memory and up that memory to around six gigs okay to, to run it uh, that's a pretty good base to run it uh, you can put in Java JVM arguments if you want to as well here. All right. So uh, you can launch the pack from this screen uh, or you can launch it from the main window. But do be sure to up your memory if you don't have your basic settings. Uh, the global settings for memory uh, is here in Java. This is the global setting. We looked at the setting under edit instance for the mod pack in particular. All right, so I'm also going to show you how to install Optifine quickly. So go to your loader mods tab and you can choose the add button right here and go out on your disk and browse for it. Or if you know where it's at on your disk, uh, if you have a folder for it or it's in your downloads or whatever, go locate that file on the disk and drag it into the loader mods window right there and it will uh, copy it to the uh, folder the mods folder right so there's optifine you can see you filtered for the list for it uh, if you choose view folder uh, then this is going to be all the mods in the mods folder and then view configs would show you all the configs anyway that's it guys that's how you install the new direwolf 2116 and play it directly in multi mc hope that was helpful to you guys if so please leave a like consider subscribing to the channel and thanks so much for watching guys i do so much appreciate it this is scott omato have a great day bye bye